Hello everyone, um, I'm Tim Phillips and welcome to episode two of my property tour series. Now for this one we are lucky to be standing here at Moore Place in Much Haddam. Now this is 14,000 square foot and would you believe there's been a house on this site since before the Norman Conquest and this house, glorious as it is, was built between 1775 and 1779. So let's go and have a look around together. Well, with any tour, the best place to start is the entrance hall. Um, what is so lovely about Moore Place is that uh, each of the rooms have this kind of international flavour, and this is very much the Italian um, entrance hall. So you come into this lovely English country house, and you have this kind of Italian feeling with this glorious gold um, hand-painted wallpaper. Um, so let's go and have a look at the rest of the house. Now don't worry, I'm going to get back to this incredible staircase, but first I will show you the main sitting room. So welcome to the formal sitting room, albeit that actually the owners really use this as a place to come and relax. Um, there are beautiful thin barred Georgian windows that have some of the loveliest views over Parkland. Um, and you just get a feeling in here that it's certainly grand enough, it's very fine, um, but it's somewhere I could feel very comfortable in. There is a beautiful uh, marble fireplace and what we'll show you in a second is there is this really, really, I can't even put my finger on this beautiful green moulding and all the mouldings above the doors are, are the same colour. Um, it's just a beautiful room with so much light and wherever you are you have the most lovely, lovely views of the garden. And this one even more special because it is completely framed by wisteria. So I've said it before, but I'm not going to be too obvious, but this is pretty obvious, we're in the dining room. Um, and a very British feel in here. I've said it in the sitting room, but I'm going to say it again. These views, I'm just drawn entirely to look out at this parkland. Um, it really is quite beautiful. So the great thing about a Georgian house, certainly for us estate agents, is that what you have is a core and then the reception rooms uh, around that central core and if you have any more rooms they just lead on from there. And most of them are interconnecting, like this one, that takes you into the library. And through that door and welcome to the library. What is very interesting is the fact that these bookshelves are actually part of the listing, so they're original. Um, and I think this is just one of those rooms that you would use for lots of things as it is today. Place to work from home, as you can see the, uh, the driveway and what's going on, and a lovely place to play music. But again, you're just greeted by this very, very bright and very serene room. Now, I did promise, and this is one of the most impressive entrance halls. As you come through the entrance hall, you're then greeted by this uh, cantilever stone staircase and as I stand here it's got rugs on it at the moment but there is this really lovely stone floor which you can see where everyone over these kind of hundreds of years have have walked and there's some very clever use of mirrors in this uh, hallway so there's this just incredible incredible amount of natural light sunlight coming through um, and just being beamed around all of these rooms so what we're going to do now is having seen these three reception rooms, we're going to go behind you, Max, and go to the bar and the kitchen. So welcome to the Scottish-themed bar. Now, after you've entertained your uh, guests for dinner, of course you need to come to your bar, and I feel very comfortable behind here. It certainly won't be the first bar I've come behind, so what, a, what an amazing place. Carrying on our theme, so we've had the Italian entrance hall, we've had the English dining room, we've had the Scottish bar, we've now got the Chinese breakfast room. Now the owners have travelled a lot, so they bought some of their home with them into their English country house, and this room goes straight through behind Max to the kitchen.
And lastly, but by no means least, we are now in the Russian, we'll call this morning room because the sun is on this side of the house in the morning, so it's a lovely place to come and bring your breakfast and sit with the family. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I know I really did. And standing out here in this lovely sunny day is, uh, is quite a treat, uh, especially with this wisteria out. Um, but it hasn't finished there. What I really want to do is show you this beautiful garden. Um, so let's go and have a stroll around together. It really is very, very magical out here. Um, I don't know if you can see, but there's some lovely ivy um, and the patina on this stone steps is just spectacular. And these, uh, these roses are about to go incredibly um, into bloom. So um, what I'll do is I'll take you to the um, outdoor swimming pool. Now it's air source heat pump um, and in a lovely wall garden um, with a couple of follies that were built in the 30s and they're grade two. So here we have the pool. Um, what I think is absolutely lovely here is how sheltered it is here. Um, you don't get any wind, it's completely quiet other than obviously someone mowing your lawn, but it's got lovely wall garden. Um, there's a magnolia that's just finished blooming over there. And these, um, there's two of these kind of garden rooms and they were built in 1938, which is very helpful. The owner put the plaque at the top for me. Um, these two are grade two. So the house is grade one and uh, this one's grade two. The views from the house over this parkland are just to die for and you own everything to the high street so you can walk to the pub from a house like this. What's so great about these gardens is that you have all these different areas to enjoy so that one's very much that kind of formal setting with the parkland uh, behind and then you come into this next a little bit more whimsical garden, I think. So you've got some more wisteria over there and this lovely chestnut tree. And then it's just a little bit less formal. So um, over here is a terrace that you come out of um, the kitchen and you sit in, in, in uh, the terrace. And then you can just come wander around. Great place to let the kids go and enjoy. It's, it's very peaceful. And we've finally got some sun today, which is the only reason that it's taken so long for us to do this video. I'll take you down this path. So um, just down here, you've got a very pretty pond. And then just after the pond, there's a, a, a newly finished tennis court. It's a good, good, great to have a little seat to, to look at the pond and ponder. And then behind me here is this beautiful cedar tree, a bit of dappled shade under there. And I was saying earlier when we arrived, it's lovely to come at this time of year because you have some really, really beautiful lilacs and lovely blue flowers coming through the long grass. walk around here for hours. I'm actually quite looking forward to coming back when all of these roses are out because I would imagine they would be very colourful. And yes, when the uh, when the lawn's not being cut, most of the time it's just the sound of birds. And then just down this um, driveway is the um, there's a 
kitchen garden and also just beyond the kitchen garden is a tennis court. So we've come through our wooden walk to our newly refurbished tennis court. Um, very, very sheltered because we've got a wall on that side. And frankly, it's quite warm. So if you're a bit of a dab hand at tennis, this is where we'll find you. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the tour. I've really enjoyed showing you around. Um, I'm sure you can understand there's uh, not every room that I can show you, but I hope you've enjoyed what I have been able to show you. And please do like, subscribe and hit the bell icon. And I look forward to seeing you in the next tour.